Howdy folks, Jay here. I am the lead developer of Hypnospace Outlaw and I'm going to show you how to use the Hypnospace page builder. Um, now, uh, what you want to do is go to the game files uh, and you'll find the page builder there. So if you don't know how to do that, right click on the game in your library, hit properties, then click local files, then click browse local files. And when you click browse local files, you'll come to this directory here and you'll see the main Hypnospace game executable. And then you'll also see the page builder and the tune sequencer. Um, the tune sequencer is also a tool that we use to make the little sequenced songs in the game. But for now, we will go uh, and open the page builder here. And it's already open because I prepared it in advance. So um, yeah, when the page builder is open, you'll see these little guide uh, numbers and those are for something we'll get to later, but for now you can just switch them off by clicking this toggle up here uh, next to this uh, purple box. So uh, this is the page builder. Um, this is what we use to make all of the pages in the game. Uh, we have four tabs up here text, which allows you by clicking this button to add a text element, um, GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them. This is where we add images, not just animations. Um, so when you click on one, you can click this plus button and it'll add one to the page and then you can edit its parameters that way, move it around. Um, over here are the elements. Um, on your page. So for example, we have this text and if I, I want to write Billy's page and put it up here, everyone knows it's Billy's page and you can edit uh, like effects on the text. So if I want to make it fade, uh, you click this little refresh selected element button here to show the effect, to apply the effect. So we can set the fade to 50 Boom, now it's really fading quickly. Anyway, so, and now um, here in the elements area is where you keep track of your different elements and clicking them will select them. So with the text, we can name it, I don't know, page title. So that way when you look over here, you know, okay, that I clicked that to edit the page title. Um, and then this is heart one. And I call that heart one because we can duplicate elements. elements. So now we have heart two, and now I can drag this elsewhere. Maybe I want to edit the luminance 150 so it's brighter. And here you can also adjust the order of the elements. So if I click up, it'll move it up one, which moves it in front of this, or down moves it behind it. Or if I move it all the way up, it'll even overlap Billy's page, which we don't want to do. So we'll put it all the way to the bottom. And you can also double click elements to select them. That can be finicky. Um, so I, I always just click over here to select an element. So you with, uh, with these, you can also apply effects. So if we want it to spin around, you check spin and then we'll put a value in there, 25. That'll be the speed at which it spins. So it spins. Um, and we've made it go at an intentionally sort of low frame rate to look like an old animated GIF instead of being perfectly smooth. So yeah, you can also spin it that way. 12 there, I don't know. And so now it looks interesting. And then we can fade it in and out. So, yep. Anyway, yeah, you can do all kinds of things with this. Um, a trick that I like to do, which this isn't necessary, but is duplicate an image and then uh, effect. And then you can edit the hue. So let's say 20 or something like that. Saturation. Yeah, that's real ugly. Yeah, I don't know. And then you can do like a fade effect or something. So put 20 in there. And then it'll look like the original image is sort of fading. And you could even do that again. And then we have another effect. And put the hue to 40 or something. And now you can do a different value so it fades at a different speed. 
and then now it's fading between all these different colors. Looks kind of interesting. Anyway, so that's how you edit pages. Uh, and of course, you know, you can do any combination of things like with text. Move these out of the way here. Whee. So with text, uh, you to keep things aligned nicely, we've made it so you don't absolutely position text. You can move it horizontally up and down and you can change the width of the text box. So like 80 is a good width. Um, and then, hello, here is some text. My name is Billy. Hey there. I like heart images. They're my favorite kind of digital picture. I don't know. Anyway, and then, um, so when you uh, change the width, it'll, you know, uh, do that. And then you can set an offset. So this is good if you want to put like an image, you know, somewhere and 16 there. So if we wanted to put like a, this heart over here, like no, this, this one, that's why I click on the side to do that. Um, over here and align the text like that. You can do that. Um, if you want to make a new line, you can't just press enter. You have to do slash in for a new line. And you can also have it uh, do slash P for it to say the player's name. So it'll say whatever the person playing put their name in as hello player name. Um, and there's a few other slash thingies, but uh, I don't really know them. So um, here is where you put links or scripts. So um, I can anything you type in here will make this a, a clickable link and it'll be surrounded by that sort of blue dotted thing. So in the game, if I tried to click this, it would try to do whatever this is, which is nothing. So it would just maybe take me to a page that says error or something. Um, but uh, uh, a common script is anchor uh, 10 or something like that. And then if we turn this back on, if you if you click, um, I'm going to adjust the page height to make it tall enough. But if you click that link now, it'll jump you down here to the 10th uh, little row here. So that's what anch how you do anchor links to jump uh, to jump down a page and to get it links to get it to not be a link anymore you type negative one that means it'll it'll ignore it and it'll just treat it like a normal element again um, you can also click this uh, and link to another page anywhere in hypnospace um, so if we want to link here oh crap I gotta go to the Uh, so here's how you make a link uh, hs slash hypnospace central slash my page to hsp and then that will link to that page um, and that's it for the elements um, now there's a few other things you can change the page background here your scroll wheel on your mouse will uh, change any value so um, for example, you can click in here and use the scroll wheel to change it, or you manually type it. This changes the little bar in the page listing, so if you want a cloudy one. And this is the description in the page listing. Hello, this is a description. To add search tags, you do this. Uh, you do this little, I don't know what is that, a carrot thing? I don't know what that crap's called. Anyway, um, hearts. And then if someone types hearts in the search, this page will come up. Uh, username Billy and uh, you would want to save the page first which I will do uh, Billy's page and then uh, you would add Billy which I'm not going to do but you would add Billy to Actually, I will do. I will. I will add to Billy here. So we're gonna rename Billy's page with this little tilde or whatever you call that crap, and then that means it'll be hidden from the main list of 
uh, I have no space pages. So the only way to get to it then is by searching for hearts because we put a tag in there. If you want to add more tags, you just put, uh, I don't know, love. But tags must be over three characters. You can't put like a three character word uh, and have it work because it won't. So, um, and here's where you name the page. So, Billy's page. So you, but you have to click web page first and then you name that and that'll be the page name. So there's also custom cursors, uh, which they don't preview accurately here, but when you see them in the game. So we'll do a bloody hand. And there's also on load script. So screen shake is a script you can do. Five, two, four, two, I don't know. You, you put a value and then a comma and another value. And one of them is duration and one of them is how extreme the screen shake is. But I don't really remember. Yeah, if you paste uh, any songs that you want to put in the page builder for now, you have to paste in the page builder data folder at data audio HSM page loops. Once you put it in there, uh, you should be able to load it. So let's see here. And it'll load example song. Yeah. And then you can kind of play it, but that music player is a little unreliable. So we'll play it in the game so we can see. So we'll load this into the game now. Let me save it. Okay, it's saved. And now we will load it into the game. Now let's see here. Let me make sure this example tune is also in the game itself. I think I put it in there. Yep, okay. So now we can load the old game up. But guy. But guy. Hello, but guy. So, Important message received from Merchant Saw. If we go here and we search and we type hearts, uh, that page should show up. Yeah, Billy's Important page. message received from dispatch. And there's the screen shake. And yeah, that's Billy's page. This will go to this page, but I didn't. It's a fake page link, so it doesn't work. Yeah, and that's Billy's page. Um, normally, you can click on the citizen data, but we didn't configure his uh, information. Yep, 